Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another episode of our ongoing RimWorld Fallout playthrough. Uh, when we last left off, I would say the colony was kind of, kind of holding together there pretty well. Um, this was, you know, initially, you're probably thinking, well, that was a terrible plan, but it got us to finally get around to chopping down these trees. And, and frankly, we're just not generating enough power. So, yeah, let's uh, have our guys get rid of these trees and hopefully, I mean, they're mostly grown anyway, but we should get something going. One thing I don't like about these floors are the little, uh, yeah, it's like, it's like you got these like little wooden, and I keep forgetting this every time I build them, but they've got like the, I don't know, like it, it doesn't tile quite as nicely as I would like. Like, you'd figure, like, this little medley bit would only be around the edges. But hey, you know what? It's, uh, still okay, I would say. Anyway, we're also, uh, let's see. It is kind of cooling down in here. Let's, uh, start moving people indoors, shall we? Get everybody their nice... Happy, happy little, uh, excuse me, one, please. Uh, excuse me. Only one per bed, unless you, you know, actually want to share a bed, which I'm pretty sure you don't. But if you did, that would save me from having to make so many rooms. So, you know, my thanks if that's what you want to do. You know what? We have no meat. I'm just going to allow the vault tech stuff to go in there. Just for now. Oh, sure. The heat wave, e or heat wave ends just as I finally get around to clearing this problem up. Ain't that just typical? Oh, well. It's, uh, it's still good. Actually, I'm going to... Cancel deconstructing this wall, though no one's deconstructing anything. That's that's always kind of annoying. Then again, we've got a lot of building to do, so I guess it's just going to be one of those things. We also have some opportunities for for stuff. It's actually where was it? Yeah, it's right here. We have 25 days. It takes about let's say four days to get here. Then we can help the Empire of the Moon. Got a research thing here, so I think... Actually, you know what? I'll just send Duold out to do that right now. Just while I'm thinking about it. Maybe we'll find some cool animals along the way. Uh, I'd really prefer if you only brought... Uh, yeah, bring a little... Yeah, bring just enough food so that it won't rot. We have no animals. Again, very unfortunate, but life goes on. Once we can fly, we really should go check out these Forsaken Crags. That just feels like it'll be cool. So it'll take us about a day to get there, and then a day to get back. This happens almost instantly. So I'm not too worried about that taking too much time. Uh, excuse me. How about you haul the wood that you have just picked up? How about you haul all the wood you just picked up? Good man. I knew you'd figure it out eventually. Is there a reason why you're not getting power? Does that actually not reach? I guess it doesn't. I was mistaken in how much distance that actually had. As happens from time to time. Anyway, we're gonna have some real master builders by the time we're done with all this. And remember, eyeballs on the prize. 16 components, 3200 silver, 225 gold, 3200 steel. The gold and steel is gonna be the real problem in all this. Unless there's like a bunch of gold in there. Or if we get a quest event that lets us get a bunch of gold. 
as off camera, something like that happened to me once. Yeah, what? It was, um, oh, I think it was from Vanilla Medieval Expanded, you know, getting like a, a quest to go visit a, hello. I have nothing to trade, but we'll see what you got. You got nothing I want. So we shall move on. Anyway. Yeah, those things can have like a whole bunch of gold just sitting in them. All right, we, and we've got two ancient dangers to investigate at some point. God, there's actually a lot of resources here. A quest! Thunder joins, but they won't tell us any more about themselves. A 38 year old taster. Taster. Please tell me that means you're good at cooking. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a, a bold and spicy uh, plan for this series where we can't turn down anyone in need of help. Except maybe we'll turn down the uh, the uh, the exile refugee person. So what are you good at? You are a master chef. All right, everyone else who is cooking can now stop cooking. Actually, you're already good at cooking, so I won't make you stop. You're actually really good at this too, so I'll get you to do some of that. You're... Do I actually not have a dedicated doctor? I'm shocked. Shocked, I tells you. And you know what? You can research too when you're not doing anything. In fact, you know what? Everyone can research when they're not doing anything. Yeah. Like, if you literally have nothing better to do... You have no weapons, right? Yeah. So that's gonna be a little, little bit of a problem. And here comes the raid. Uh, excuse me. Oh, there they are. Oh, please. They're not going to, but please, just break into the, uh... Also... What kind of technology do you have that you're... Ooh, what's this? Laser pistol. Oh, cool. I, I'm mildly disappointed that, uh, or what am I, what am I actually, oh god. You guys do this to me all the time. Probably because I've got this whole thing set up the way I do. Run for it, Thunder, run! Though if you can lure... Oh, you're a wimp, you're also a nudist, so let me, uh, let me get you naked here. Which, if, you know, taken out of context, that would sound real, real unfortunate. Uh, let's see, it's under a sign. Uh, Thunder, you are a nudist, so there you go. And you know what, we'll just get, let's get everyone to drop what they're doing and let's, uh, let's kill these, you know, vile people. And save Thunder. You know what's actually kind of handy about being a wimp is that it results in you dropping a lot earlier than you might. If you weren't a wimp. Uh, you know what? Priest actually... No, none of you are actually a, a decent doctor, so you can go rescue him. Go rescue Thunder for us. A oh, margarita's way the heck over there. You're not doing anything anytime soon. All right. Now, they kind of outrange us, I think. Oh, you fools. We are fully trained army people. They're going to they're going to hit me far more than I hit them, aren't they? All right, now we are getting access to some industrial tech, so that's gonna... Really? Well, only Tom's actually taking damage. Oh, they're beginning their assault. Better run. Actually, you know what? Maybe, uh, if they're running, don't, don't keep shooting at them. I mean, he's still shooting at us, so he's kind of a jerk, but, uh... Do I save him? I mean, he's a good doctor. Now nah, he's a bandit. We're gonna, we'll bandits fry. 
or something. Hey! <laughs> you jerk. Yeah, use the toilet and then tend to thunder, please. I should actually set up a cleaning zone so we can clean all this dirt and debris that's piling up in our streets. And vomit. There are trace amounts of vomit there. Very uncool. Alright, good. So now we've got a new friend. I actually, unless someone starts pairing off, I'm gonna have to make another house. Which I guess is not the worst thing in the world I could do. Oh, that actually works perfectly. There we go, you see? We're slowly building this like self-contained uh, thing. All right, we've improved relations, learned how to make lever, I think. Nope, we did not. We only gained partial credit. Most unfortunate, but that's life. All right, now we'll head back. We have more than enough food. It's going to be great. Ah, boy. You now I wonder if part of my problem is that we're just spending too much time hauling. Rough plated monitor. That's a scary looking face. Reminds me of something. The rough plated monitor, the Varanus uh, Barac Bractitis? Bractiatus? Is a large monitor lizard adapted to extra or to life in extreme conditions. Their whole body and metabolism are adapted to environments of higher than normal activity, thriving around acidic volcanic lakes with a water pH of 2 to 3. This immunity to acid allows them to prey on other creatures that use acid to deter predators. The rough plated monitor lays eggs that have a tendency to suddenly explode in a dangerous splash of acid when hatching. Well, that's definitely not horrifying. Damn, nature, you are scary. Really? You're going to attempt to hook up instead of hauling your stuff back? I mean, you could have at least hauled first, then hooked up. Like, come on, priorities, people. And you, Mayo, why are you not, uh, deconstructing all these tables? Yeah, deconstruct everything in this room. Yeah, see, look at that. Now we're finally getting somewhere when it comes to power generation. And we have a constant source of power at night, plus these for the day. Why'd you suddenly put your armor on? That was weird. Weird Mayo, don't do that. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So I figured the idea is we'll have like a couple of entrances. Like this, this wouldn't be a terrible place to have an entrance, maybe. But then again, I don't know if I want to firefight around my power generation. But yeah, we have, you know, various uh, entrances into the maze. And then we'll try to set up things so that we have eventually uh, proper choke points to uh, capture enemies or something. Like for instance, right here, I could probably put like some sandbags or barricades or something. Once we get the appropriate research. And from there. Yeah, stuff just uh, hopefully gets better and better over time. How are we doing for ammo? So I have a nice stockpile, but till we can actually reliably make it our excuse me, make it ourselves. We are gonna have well, it's gonna be you know a bit of uh I'm actually gonna raise Takey's uh mining priority as well, which may be a bad idea because he's kind of, as far as I can tell, our primary grower. But, I, I really do just want to get this stuff done. Actually, uh, you mind merging all the compost instead of putting it in different stockpiles? That'd be great. That would be great. There you go. Oh well, we'll It'll all get done in time, probably. I just shouldn't worry. Uh, but worrying is my... my thing. Okay, they ran out of food, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Probably. I guess I'm gonna need to build another one of these, aren't I? Yeah, was a... 45 degrees Celsius. That is hot. It's like, skin-meltingly hot. In fact, a lot of these buildings are skin meltingly hot. Let's, uh. 
let's see, any room where people are going to be spending a a reasonable amount of time, I should probably... Okay, they've arrived. Good, 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 good. And this can be Funder's bed once Funder can get up. Really? Really, Funder? Oh, geez. Got some uh, serious heat stroke there. And Mayo, you better uh, build. Ah, geez. Kind of filthy in here, too. Ah, oh, boy. What a world. So, anyway, it's uh, going to be difficult, I think. I'm not sure if this being here will allow to uh, pass through. Okay. Diplomacy. I don't know if I want to waste time on peace talks, truth be told. I think I'm more interested in keeping us where we're at for the moment. Oh no. Well, surely, surely I can't be that bad. Does it spit acid? No, it just does melee. Yes. Okay. Just melee attacks. That's that's something I can handle, I'm I'm fairly sure. Uh, could someone save Thunder from dying? That'd be great. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have you pull back. You guys are gonna There we are. You guys can do whatever you're gonna do. Oh, that worked out. Thunder is also start. You old. Is there a reason you're not doing, uh... I don't know, I feel like there's something... Something not quite right here. Alright. Extreme di dehydration. A lot of, uh... Can't wash you. That's okay. Oh, Funders finally got up. Are you wearing a parka? Is that why you were so hot? Or... Oh yeah, you're a nudist, so... Really, Funder? Really? Well, alright. Oh my god. You know what, Thunder? Oh, you can't clean. Hmm. Alright, I really want Priest to be focusing on mining. I'm gonna have to have a dedicated cleaner at some point, because it's getting just a little dirty in here. Just a bit. Oh, and you know what? Let's, uh... No, it's way too hot to be having guests. But I'm going to allow it to happen anyway, because we might be able to get some rewards or something, or at least have something to trade with from time to time. It'd actually be kind of funny if, after that big bunch of traders previously, we end up in a situation where we get no trade caravans for the rest of the game. I mean, it'd be funny, but also really annoying, so I'm kind of 50-50 kind of on how much I'd actually like to see that happen. No. Let's have uh, another look at how our power is going. Like, this is such a big room. It's also 90 some degrees in here. So, yeah, this room is never going to be useful for anything. Maybe I'll just hold that door open. Just vent the heat out. I don't know what I'm going to do with this room. Maybe I'll put some. If we get the time, we'll put some water treatment and such in here. That would probably be a nice thing to do. Speaking of nice things to do... Uh, can I build a kitchen sink? I can't. I have to do the research for it. Assuming I... I'm pretty sure I had, uh... Had the mod for all the extra little production-y things. Hmm, maybe not. 
Well, I didn't put it on, so I'll I'll leave it be. All right. Okay. Yeah, we're cutting cutting blocks. Why haul all the way over there when there's closer blocks? A sand lion. Hello, what the heck are you? Variant of the genetically modified Arctic lion, specifically engineered as an ambush unit uh, by the Navy. All right. That's uh, just a touch annoying, but. <laughs> yeah, just uh, just everyone shoot at this thing. You could, uh, switch to your stabby weapon if you want. Yep, nothing like having a shower after getting attacked by a sand lion. Almost said sea lion, but it's actually a sand lion. Actually, this place in the middle of the, uh, this could be a not-too-bad bathroom spot. I don't know. I might just leave a lot of these buildings as they are and just, you know, find myself unable to be bothered to do anything with them. It's like, I am kind of wondering what the heck my plan was with this in retrospect, because I was talking about, like, combining areas. So this doesn't make a lot of sense all of a sudden. I don't know, this could be like an outdoor step. And then going back indoors, but then it means you have to go into a building just to go outside. You know what? It doesn't have to make sense. That's what I'm, that's what I'm learning about myself in life. I don't have, my own life does not have to make sense. I don't need to be sensible. Just do things, and if they work out, great. If they don't, then they don't. You know, it's just, you gotta have fun with it. You gotta get a little surreal in life or something. I don't know. Oh boy. We are gonna have to fight those mechanoids at some point. I just, I just don't know if I really, really want to do anything about it at this particular moment. I'll have to at some point, but I, as much as I can, I want to, excuse me, I want to stay here and harvest up all the resources of value on this map, mostly the steel, because I really want to build that ship. I'm sure we'll, we'll get to it eventually. I mean, the silver, that's going to be a bit difficult. The gold, also a bit difficult. Unless, again... Actually, how are our... Yeah, we do have some quests there. Quests are always exciting. I mean, I guess the only way to find out if there is actually, uh... Any metals in here... Is to actually dig in. And Sai would like us... Are you actually already a friend? The Hadron League? You are, or the Halidor League. You're minus five to us. So that's that's good. Where is the Brotherhood of Steel anyway? They're coming from all the way over there. You know, I think there are mods that actually make it so that you only get raided and and trade it with by people who are close, uh, in, like, actual close proximity. But, you know, I, I'm not too terribly bothered by that. I mean, is it, uh, is it hurting my realism or immersion? Not really. All right. There we are. Lots of steel. So much steel is needed. And, you know, that's not even getting into any other... Equipment we may eventually want to make. What is Duel doing most of the time? Doing a lot of hauling. Oh yeah, it's because all those things come before. You know, I'll make cleaning second priority for you. But I don't really want you doing a lot of hauling, Duel. I want you to mostly focus on that research. We're slowly making progress towards beekeeping, which will be our source of infinite uh, meat alternatives. Which is probably for the best, since we are... Uh, slowly running out of materials there. Yeah, I'm gonna make this into cotton. Cause I wanna make uh, cloth type stuff. A wandering horde of ghouls. 
I count free ghouls. Hardly a horde. Then again, I suppose I should... Oh yeah, I'm just leaving these corpses here. Yeah, I'll let you guys eat and then you can intercept the ghouls. Um... Ghouls? You know, I do like the idea of you hauling your, your stuff back, but let's see if two people by themselves can take care of these these poor unfortunate souls. Have some sympathy for them. I mean, they're, uh... They're living corpses that are slowly falling apart. Uh, Margarita, how about you focus on this one? That way we minimize overkill. Assuming Priest actually does his gosh darn job. And I'm not even worried about the last one. Actually, you can haul some of that steel back. I know, you've had a hard day. Where's the final... Mayo, you're always so caught- oh. You're also... Always insisting on... There we go. Probably good. I assume you get, uh... Some kind of flesh out of those. A little bit of meat. A little bit of meat. Alright. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and suspend this for now. Because it also occurs to me, I kind of forgot to install that handy mod uh, that optimizes all your meat into just one item type. Which is good for two reasons. One, it means you have less stacks of stuff just lying around. And two, it also helps improve load times because you have fewer item deaths to load. Which is real handy because when you're playing with any significant number of mods, and frankly, uh, I'm like playing with lightweight numbers of mods, I'm pretty sure I've got like less than a hundred going. So, you know, not like the craziest of all time. But we're up there. Maybe. Kind of. For an amateur. But anyway, the, the point is... Having fewer items to have to load is a good thing. Having more items to have to load is a bad thing. And you now we just want, we want less to worry about. So yeah, it's also time to say goodbye again. So until the next episode, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I'll see all you in the next video.